in today's video, we're going to be discussing the differences between Java and JavaScript. Now, when you hear the terms Java and JavaScript, it's likely that you get confused between the two. You might even use them interchangeably. However, there are a few differences that set them apart. So in this session we're going to discuss the differences between Java and JavaScript. So let's look at what's in store for us. First, we look at a brief introduction to Java. Then we'll look at a brief introduction to JavaScript. Then we'll compare the two languages based on different parameters like OOP concept, syntax, variable definition, compilation, platform, compatibility and finally salary. So without delay, let's begin. First up, what exactly is Java? Java was developed by James Gosling and team. It is the most commonly learned and used programming language across the globe. More than 3 billion mobile phones use Java today. So, mostly it is used for Android app development. It offers incredible stability and is easily manageable. Another important feature is that it does not require any complex hardware. It is used in web applications with the help of servlets, struts or JSPs. Java overcomes drawbacks of C and C++ and provides better memory management and security. Now, Java products are storming the market today with over 1 million GitHub depositories. It is no surprise that Java has a vast community and a high demand for Java developers. So now let's understand what exactly is JavaScript. JavaScript was developed by Brendan Eich in 1995. It is a powerful server-side and client-side programming language. Users with the knowledge of JavaScript can play around with any layer of the application. One major feature of JavaScript is the fact that it offers incredibly high speed. JavaScript also provides a wide range of frameworks and libraries like React.js, Angular and Vue. JavaScript is used in integration with HTML and CSS for web application development. Now, another important feature of JavaScript is the fact that simple things can be done simply. JavaScript is also cross-browser compatible and can be executed on any browser beat, Chrome, Firefox, Safari and Opera. It can also be used in conjunction with other languages like Perl and PHP. JavaScript has a wide user community with over 600,000 depositories on GitHub. So now that you know what Java and JavaScript are, Let's go ahead and look at the major differences between the two. First up is object-oriented programming. Java is an object-oriented programming language, while JavaScript is a powerful service-side and client-side scripting language. Now, both these languages use the concept of object-oriented programming concepts like polymorphism inheritance, encapsulation and abstraction are readily deployed by the two, so they make use of objects to perform actions. However, the only difference is that Java is a programming language, while JavaScript is a scripting language. Moving on to the next parameter syntax. Now Java uses syntax that is similar to C or C++, while JavaScript uses a syntax similar to C programming language. Again, since both Java and JavaScript used objects and classes syntax remains similar, Moving on to the third parameter variable definition. Now Java is a strongly typed language. All the variables in the program need to be declared before they're initialized or defined, but in the case of JavaScript, it is a loosely typed language, variable declaration can be done as and when they are used. Next up is compilation. Java is both compiled and interpreted. Now, every Java program is first compiled to bytecode, which the Java runtime environment understands. Now, these bytecodes are interpreted by the Java virtual machine, making it an interpreted language. On the other hand, JavaScript is a strictly interpreted language in this case, every instruction in the program is interpreted and checked for bugs, so Java is both compiled and interpreted. While JavaScript is strictly interpreted. Next factor for comparison is the running platform. Now Java programs and applications run on Java Virtual Machine. Now this is generally installed when you install the Java Software Development Kit. Now, this machine provides the platform for executing the Java code. It basically interprets the byte code during execution. JavaScript programs are run on the web browser. 
they do not require any initial setup. So all the programs written in JavaScript are generally executed and shown on the web browser beat Chrome, Firefox or any browser for that matter. The next feature is compatibility. Now, since Java and JavaScript are such widely used languages, there's no doubt that they offer excellent compatibility. Again Java is cross-platform compatible and is supported by operating systems like Windows, Linux, and Mac OS. JavaScript on the other hand, as discussed earlier can be run on different browsers like Chrome, Firefox, and Safari. Now it also supports different operating systems like Windows, Linux, and Mac OS. The last factor for comparison is salary when it comes to Java. The average salary of a Java developer in India is around 4,47,000 rupees per annum, while the average salary of a Java developer in the US is around $74,000 per annum. In case of JavaScript, the average salary of a JavaScript developer in India is around 3,38,000 rupees per annum, and the average salary of a JavaScript developer in the US is around $82,000 per annum. I hope you are clear with the differences between Java and JavaScript. If you like the video, then press the like button. Share it with your friends or anyone who hasn't known the difference between Java and JavaScript. Do you have any suggestions regarding the content, comment section is all yours. Subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon. Thanks for watching.